Maybe they're watching us. I mean, a group of black and white colorless monkeys. Now, the black and white colorless monkey has, um, hey guys, please don't make noises at me. Right. We appreciate that. Now, the black and white colorless monkey has that beautiful fur. It's used to slow its descent when it jumps from place to place to shed water. Yeah. All the tail is used to slow their descent and to balance them. They live up in the trees and they'll jump from place to place. Now, then, look at this guy's hands right here. You notice his thumb that's bent on. He's got four fingers. Look, he's got a little knob that's left up the thumb. Mother Nature got rid of the thumb because they jump from place to place and they land on the leaves and grab hold. Well, if they had a thumb, they'd probably break it about three times a day. So they don't have one, so they can just land and grab hold on. Hold up and on. Now they have an interesting foot. It's like our foot. They have an opposing big toe, though, so they can grab things. Longer toes. They can grab things with their feet, and then I can't do that. Now, unfortunately, the black and white colobus monkey is poached for its meat. Its meat is sold internationally as bush meat. Yeah, kind of sad, huh? And there's also an antelope that lives out here with them called the yellowback diker. There's a drawing of one over on the right there. You may have seen it as you came. The yellowback diker um, has that name diker because it's the Dutch word that means diver. Because they dive into the foliage to get away from the feather. Oh. And if we don't do something, the diker and the monkey have a severe problem to their both poach for their meat. The meat is, again, sold on internationally at bush meat. Now then, these guys, uh, well, they could end up like their cousin, Mrs. Walden's red colonist monkey, unless we do something about the overhunting for meat and the loss of habitat to take their trees, their homes for lumber, their land for farming and development. Uh, they can end up like Mrs. Walden's red colonist monkey. That's that monkey right there. The groin. That was poached to extinction within the last two years. Yeah, kind of sad. Should you have any questions today, folks, as you travel down the trail, you'd look for someone dressed like me, or maybe not the hat and ball hat, but I'll answer your questions anyway. I know it. It does that all the time, doesn't it? I mean, you're grumpy. Oh, you're grumpy? Oh, cool. Thank you. 